Hello, so welcome to our second tutorial. Oh, this is actually more a 1.5 tutorial because it's showing the same thing as last time. We're still going to be creating just a box, but this time I got request to show the other method I mentioned, which is using the UV maps. And yes, this method is faster, but there's more ways things can go wrong. And I just felt like the other method was simpler, especially for first time users, because it had a very uh, a simple step-by-step -step procedure. But um, now that we have that, so let me just show you this method because it might be easier for you, who knows. And I promise that the next tutorial would be uh, not far behind and we'll go into cards next. So how do we create the box from just one image? So let's start at the beginning, uh, save, sure. And now we have just a regular box, same as last time, just bring it up. Okay, so getting back to this point where we have our cube, we just need to layer the texture on it. So like last time, we need to add the material, name it box. And just like last time, choose an image texture. There we go. Okay, and make sure you're in either a look dev or rendered view. Okay, I'll choose look dev for now. What we see now is basically Blender is trying to cover the box from all sides with this one image. We just need to tell it where to put each image. So instead of going to shading and mapping and cutting it up, we just go to UV editing this time. And again, make sure that you're in look dev mode. If you can't see the, the spheres there, you just need to scroll down with the mouse wheel. So what we have here is basically the cube spread out. Okay, just like you would make a paper cube, you would make this shape and then you would fold it into a cube. So same thing we have here, this cube is represented by these spaces. What we basically need to do is align each of the squares with the island that would fit the side of the cube it belongs to. So to do that and to not mess up the other cubes, you need to go up here. Oh, and by the way, if you don't see this, that means you're not in edit mode. So you need to go up to this little menu here and go down to edit mode or just press tab. And if you don't see this, if you still don't see this, that means you need to unwrap the UV map. You need to, in edit mode, click U and click unwrap. Another problem is if you don't see this image here, which you're doing the map on, for some reason, you just need to go up here and select it. Okay, and just make sure you, you chose it as the, the material before. Okay, so what do we do now? How do we align it? We click here to do a face selection mode, and then we, we're gonna basically click every face in turn and realign it over here. So I'm gonna click here, we have this square, we need to align the corners first. One of the corners, at least. Let me zoom in just to make sure it's precise. There we go. And then just by selecting the edges, you just go move it just like we did before with the uh, uh, viewport. You just click G, X, and then move it. Zoom in to make sure size and select the bottom one G Y there we go and now obviously it's on the side so press a to select all of it R for rotate and minus 90 degrees there we go now we basically need to do the same thing for every side so let's continue clicking this one okay now here Start the same way, align the corners. Um, you might want to just rotate it right now. Oh, let's see, it's supposed to be minus 90. Okay, rotate it now so the shape would be right. And then again, select the edge, G, GX, select the edge, GY. Okay, so I'm now just going to speed it up so you can see the rest of the work.
Okay, one more thing I wanted to point out. If you need to do very small, small adjustments and it just moves too much for you, so you can hold down shift and then it would slow down so you can be very precise. Although you won't really notice a difference, but uh, sometimes that's important. And you know, some of us are crazy perfectionists. Okay, there we go. Not bad. So, yeah, I hope you enjoyed that and that was simple. And I promise to get into new content next time. Hope you enjoyed it. And let me know if you have any questions. Please like, share, and subscribe. And let me know if there's anything you need or you would like me to cover uh, down the road. Bye-bye.